Have you guys ever walked into a store and seen one of those really cool lava lamps? You probably asked your parents, maybe they said no, or maybe they said yes. But either way, here's an experiment on how to make your own homemade lava lamp at home, and it's honestly a lot less expensive. I'm Alekia Rajas Hagrin, and here's how to make a homemade lava lamp. Now for this experiment, you're gonna need some water, vegetable oil, really any type of oil, but vegetable oil works the best. A glass bottle, preferably one that's clear and longer so that the effect works better. Food coloring, you can choose any color you want, and alka seltzer tablets or powder. And finally, you also need to make sure that you stay safe. Now for your first step, you're gonna take some water and pour it into your glass jar about one fourth of the way full. And for your second step, you're gonna take your oil and pour it about all the way to the top, maybe leave about an inch. And what's really cool that you see here is that the oil is settling on top of the water and just give it a little bit so that it settles all the way. Your third step, you're gonna take food coloring, any color that you want, I'm choosing blue, and you're gonna put a couple of drops in, depending on the amount of water you have to make sure that the water um, gets colored all the way. And it's really fun looking at all of the food coloring bubbles go all the way to the bottom. It's pretty fun to look at. Now for your last step, you're gonna take some Alka-Seltzer tablets. Now if you have the powder, then you're gonna put in about one teaspoon, and then after the reaction is over, you can just keep putting in a couple more teaspoons. If you have the tablets, you're gonna break it into quarters, and then you're just gonna put in one quarter at a time until the reaction is over. So let's put in our first one. And it's gonna take a little bit, and then you start to see the effects of the Alka-Seltzer. You can actually see a little bit of it from the side too. Now you're probably wondering, how did this experiment even work? Well, this worked because of one thing, density. Density is a measurement of how compact a substance is and how much of it fits in a certain amount of space. Now you probably noticed that the water sunk to the bottom of your jar and that the oil sat on top. This is because water molecules are packed more tightly. A cup of water actually has more mass than a cup of oil. Because water is more dense than oil, it will sink to the bottom when the two are put in the same container. You probably also noticed that the oil and water did not mix together. Polarity is why that happens. Water, molecule, mo water molecules are polar because they have a lopsided electrical charge that attracts their atoms. Oil molecules, however, are nonpolar. They don't have a positive or a negative charge, so they're not attracted to the water molecules at all. That's why water and oil don't mix. Real lava lamps use polar and nonpolar liquids, just like our homemade one did. In a real one, however, the densities of the liquids are much closer together than vegetable and oil. In a real lava lamp, the one that you would get from a store, the denser liquid sinks to the bottom, but the lava lamp light heats it up until it expands and becomes less dense, causing it to rise upward. As it gets further from the light, it cools down, becoming more dense again until it sinks, and then the cycle starts all over. Instead of using light, however, our homemade lava lamp, we used Alka-Seltzer to power the lamp. The Alka-Seltzer reacts with the water to produce carbon dioxide gas bubbles. These stick to the water droplets. The water and gas combo is less dense than the oil, so they rise to the top of the flask. At the top, the gas bubbles pop and escape into the air, allowing the dense water to sink back to the bottom again. Real lava lamps use a lot more toxic materials compared to the one that we made at home today. So remember guys, make sure that you stay safe, wash your hands, and I hope you enjoyed this experiment.